Are you frustrated with trying to decide what kind of property to buy in today's market? Hi, I'm Kurt Wanabo with San Diego Real Estate and Investments. There are deals everywhere in real estate today. So let me ask you a question. Why haven't you found your deal yet? Maybe you haven't had somebody sit down with you and explain the different types of properties out there in the market. And if you haven't, I'd highly recommend setting up a free, no obligation consultation with myself or one of my buyer agent team members who specialize in working with buyers. With short sales, foreclosures, traditional sales, and new construction homes, it can be a bit confusing and overwhelming. But in the meantime, it's important to understand some of the pros and cons of each type of property and which property is right for you. And in this brief video, I'm going to go over just some of the pros and cons of buying a new construction home. So here we go. First, some of the bad things about new construction. Number one, the wait. Builders can no notoriously be late on their projected completion date, sometimes even by months, making it difficult to time your move. Number two, contracts can be very long, legal, and in the builder's best interest. So make sure you have an agent or an attorney that can walk you through all the paperwork. Number three, the agents working for the builder have no duty to do what's in your best interest or inform you of certain things. They work for the builder, not you. So be aware of their high pressure sales tactics. Number four, some builders abandon projects before completion, leaving you with no neighbors or a warranty hard to enforce. So make sure you research the builder and their reputation. Number five, it can be extremely hard to find a new development in an area that you wanna live. As land becomes more scarce, builders may not always be building in your community. Now, some of the great things about new construction. Number one, you'll probably get a home that is move-in ready with no improvements needed. This can save you on repairs potentially in the long run. Number two, if you buy early in the development, you might get in on early prices and see other people pay higher prices for their homes as they get built later on. Number three, you might be able to get a model home thus not having to wait for builder timelines and even purchase the furniture staged in the home. Number four, you might be able to pick all of your upgrades and design the home exactly the way you want it. This might e you might even be able to roll all of the costs of these upgrades into your loan. Number five, most builders will pay for you to have an agent represent you and look out for your best interests. They do this at no cost to you and is included in their marketing budget. Most people do not understand that builders sometimes actually like working with real estate agents. Now that I've shared with you some of the pros and cons of buying a new construction home, the next step would be to sit down with somebody and determine if this is the type of property you would feel comfortable buying. Give me or one of my buyer agents a call to set up a free consultation to go over some of the other benefits of buying this type of property. It's important to be working with a broker who knows the ins and outs of buying a new construction home. So give me a call and set up your free, no obligation consultation. I also have other videos on the pros and cons of buying a short sale, traditional sale, and foreclosures. Thank you for your time and I look forward to meeting with you.